Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Randomized, and now it's time to continue the Victory Road and having an encounter right away. Go away, Coffin. No one likes you. That's not true, but I just said it to be mean. Red Rock, we got Low Kick and Earthquake. Either way, you're gonna go down. Yeah, nice. Lots of experience there. And next up is Galtron, our starter. You know, with a team this awesome, it's kind of hard to keep track of who your starter was. But I remember, it was Galtron, it was a snow run. Who became a Smoochum, who became a, a Glalie. Okay, Teddy Ursa. Bumpering, I guess. The Fable, now that's a tough one. This can be a tough one. Oh shit, Paralyzed. Now it's definitely a tough one. Ah! Rapperick. That's a good sludge bomb. Oh, I can't use twice in a row because of torment. Oh, that's right. It screwed me over there, torment, because I can't use pedal dance twice in a row. Flygon, please have a nice beam. Shit. Okay, this is maybe bad. Oof. Full restore. Oh, I have to go heal soon. Ugh. Oh well, can't be helped. We can do this. We can do this little bit though. And push it all the way to the left. And then left, 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 down, and then right. Pick up the item. Eruption. I saw that. That's interesting. Pretty strong. Ah, oh, sadly, Dragard can't learn it, and it's not really good for Fortress either. Damn it. Oh wait, 25 is Thunder. Yeah, of course no one can learn that. I don't have I don't have any electric Pokemon or legendaries or dragons. So shame. That's the only bad thing about a randomized a randomized run. You get such cool moves, but you can't use them because. The TM it is based on is just not compatible. You can change that. You can give every Pokemon complete, uh, complete coverage so they can learn everything. But I think that's a bit weird. I mean, I'd like to have a challenge. I'd like to have a select amount of moves each Pokemon can learn. You can also give every Pokemon complete HM compatibility so they can learn every HM. But I think that's just kind of overdoing it, so I won't do that. Defeat the trainer and go heal up. Electric, have a sludge bomb. Nice. Low touch, have a sludge bomb. Growlithe, have a sludge bomb. Of course I got intimidated, so I didn't really defeat it, but we won. No item in there. Yeah, okay. We should just go out, since we're kind of close to the exit now. Alright. Fly, go back, heal up, switch team. Fortress needs some love too. Instead of Alakazam this time. And you can just stay there until I get you again. The Elite Four could be extremely difficult or could be a cakewalk. I'm hoping it will be somewhere in between. Yeah, don't need repel for this grass. Oh no, Aerodactyl, go away. Thanks. No, Aerodactyl, go away. Thanks. Okay, up we go again. Shame you can't fly to the entrance of the Victory Road. They fixed that in later gens, where you can just fly to the entrance of Victory Road and then to the entrance of the Pokemon League. It's a two different points. But not in this one. See, now the wall's back up, so we have to do, have to do these, uh, these pressure plates again. Oh well. It should only should take like a minute or something, since we have... Speed up, which is 
a great tool. Just don't do it too much or you can screw yourself over. Okay. Back we go. This one next. We're almost halfway in the in the almost halfway in the cave. Victory Road. Okay. Now we need to sting again. All the way there. And down here. And now we can keep going. Okay. Another max repel. I should have enough max repels for the rest of the game. That includes any stuff on the islands and Cerulean Cave. Worm Ball is not a problem. We have Psychic. I could do a better move than that though. Oh, it's physical contact now. But Silverwind isn't, so... Oh shit, Blast Burn. I did not expect... Oh, why did I do that? But I have Bomberang. Still, it's kind of risky. Lickitung, we got low kick. Ice Beam, no. How dare you. And Scyther, have an Ice Beam, sir. On the house. Wow, Aeroblast. That really hurt. Good thing I have some heal items. Stockpile, no. Oh, Petal Dance is physical contact? Okay, because I got poisoned of po because because of poison point on the Cedra. I thought Petal Dance wasn't physical contact, huh? Maybe it was changed later. First of all, let's get a full heal to heal up the poison. Do I have a revive? I'm not gonna use Sacred Ash. I'll save that for the Elite Four. I don't think I have, so I can well I can heal up Dragard at least. Let's do that. Full restore. Here you go, buddy. Okay, keep going. We're getting close to the end. Just a few more trainers. We can totally skip these, but I won't. I want the XP. Crunch, goodbye. Crunch. Twice, goodbye. Torkoal, boomerang. Oh, it actually lived. Wow. Shift tree is just wish and then aerial ace. Surf kit again, aerial ace. Nice job, Galtron. Nice job indeed. Um, yeah, back to you. Oh, this next trainer. Hello, Mr. My My Guess Earthquake. Almost killed it. Cast form. Low kick. Doesn't do that much, but Nidoran is goodbye. Nido Queen as well. Oh, almost. Charmeleon. Man, a lot of stuff weak to ground on this one. Okay, one more rock. Wait, two more rocks to push. It's technically the same one, but. Okay, and now we can enter this part and go up the ladder here. Double fight here, and then we get to the last bit. Uh, I would love to use Earthquake, but I don't have anyone that is... Well, you know what? I'm going to be cheap here. I'm going to do Earthquake, and I'm going to switch this one into my HM dude. He's expendable. Yep, that's kind of cruel, I know, but... This is so effective, since it hits both of them and kills them outright. I mean, faints them outright. It was too perfect. Level 50! Feather Dance! Oh. Not a bad move, but not on Aerodactyl. Low ring attack is a good thing, but the enemy tends to switch Pokemon a, a lot if the stats get lowered, so... Mm, it, it, it's a good combination with something like Spider Web or Mean Look or the ability Shadow Tag. Then you can Feather Dance all you like. Okay, and this is the, the last move tutor we can get before the Elite Four, which is Double Edge. But it spikes. Um, who can I give spikes? Because that is useful. Hmm. 
I'm gonna give it to Galtron instead of Wish. Because you are not very bulky. You can't take hits. So I'd rather have you lay some entry hazards for the Elite Four. Yeah, that seems good. Here you go, have spikes. Wish is only good for Pokemon that can take a hit or have Protect or Detect as well to just heal up. Wish is excellent for stuff like Chansey's or Steelix or, you know, stuff that's very resistant to either physical or special attacks. Okay, we made it to the Elite Four. We're not gonna fight them yet though, we need to do some stuff first. Mainly, we need to get Alakazam back first and foremost and then we need to get some medicines which are right here I want to get some revives plenty of those 30 should be enough I want a bunch of full heals 40 I want some can't I buy hyper potions? no that's a shame I'll just buy a few full a few full stores I guess I'll buy Hyper Potions somewhere else. I, guess you can, I think you can buy them in the department store. We need to go there anyway, so... Okay, let's check this out. It should be on the very first floor of medicines. Ah, Super Potion. What? Okay. Let's go back. Then probably on Cinnabar, then. Hyper Potion is better than Max Potion. It's also cheaper. Because Hyper Potion heals 200 HP and all of our Pokemon have 200 or less. Yeah, there we go. Hyper Potion. We should get like 50 of these. Cool. And now we can go back to Saladin. And we can actually sell everything we're not going to use. So I'm going to grab as much as I can. And also use up stuff of like PP+. Plus. So item, not deposit, withdraw. Choice band, we can sell that. Char Beak we can sell, Focus we can sell, 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 sell. Yep, we're gonna sell every single item. PP up, we can actually use that. Dragon scale, I'm gonna just get everything really until I can't anymore. Okay, no more room in the bag. Okay, let's first of all use the PP up. And I know which two I want to use it on. First of all, you, Silver Wind, increase, and I'm gonna give it to Ice Beam, because it's the only move we have that's effective against dragons, and I'm pretty sure we'll encounter at least one dragon in there, so I'm gonna give it an extra Ice Beam. Two, in fact. Now I'm gonna check the items we're holding, but I think they should be good. Leftovers is awesome, Quick Claw is great, Shell Bell, sure, Scope Lens is good, Sharp Beak, and another Scope Lens. That is perfect, so now we're gonna sell everything else and then buy some Stat Plus items. So let's see, sell, sell the normal repels, because we're not gonna use those anymore. Keep that, keep that, keep this, keep anything that heals. Okay, we can just sell this, we can sell that, sell... Don't sell the Sacred Ash, though. Big Pearl, Moonstone... Oh, you can't even sell that one. Everstone, Blue Shards... Keep the heals. Choice Bands, Sharp Beak, Focus Band, Pocket Doll... Yellow Flute, Blue Flute, Water Stone, X, Special Shell Salt, Dragon Fang, Never Melt Ice, Dragon Scales, Black Scales, Black Belt, Sunstone, Silk Scarf, Incense, Poison Barb, X Attack. And I'm gonna go back for a second batch of stuff to sell and then next time we shall get our upgrades and then start on the Elite Four. So I'll see you then.